well, um, this story disturbs me. Uh, for 25 years, the Greek people, Greece, uh, Ireland, of course, has lived under the shadow of this Ben Needham event. Ben Needham is one of thousands of children who go missing every year. Uh, very few of those cases receive even a fraction of the publicity that Ben Needham has got. One, uh, one, one that d did, of course, was the McCann story. But the fact is that at the time Ben Needham went missing, uh, he was not being supervised by his family. Apparently he was in the care of his grandfather, who was doing construction work at the time, and hadn't, didn't notice when Ben Needham wandered off. Okay? So, we do not know what happened. And, of course, uh, since we do not know what happened, no particular group of people can be completely ruled out of the investigation. Uh -huh. Anyone who happened to be in Cos at that time, including Ben Needham's family, may have uh, a, qu a question mark over them. Now, having a question mark over anyone who was in Cos at the time doesn't mean that they did it. It just means that they could have done it. They could have done it. Now we're told that Dino Sparkis, who, was, uh, who had some land nearby and was using a, a, um, a, bull, a, a bulldozer, um, a, a digger, is, is did it. Um, apparently, it says here, he, he took the secret of death to his grave. Well, if he had taken the secret of death to his grave, how come we're being told about it now? Right? How come we're being told about it now? This happened 25 years ago. 19 police officers were sent off to, to Kos at great public, public expense to dig around an olive grove. In the end, they apparently say they found a, a toy corgi car or something. A toy corgi car. Well, um, that's possible. It doesn't necessarily mean that the, the, the toy is... Uh, I mean, how would they remember? How the hell would you remember what toy your kid was carrying on the day he went missing? Right? Uh, and Kerry Needham is now saying that this man should burn in hell. Right? And they want to dig up the whole of Kos. Well, you have to realise that Greek, Greece has gone through a massive trauma in recent years. Its country has been decimated by EU and NATO uh, wars in the Middle East that have flooded Greece with illegal immigrants. Uh, Greece has been given no help at all by the architects of this mess, namely Germany uh, and the EU. Um, the policies of destabilisation in the Middle East have affected Greece deeply. Greece has made, many of Greece's export markets were in the Middle East, and they've lost them thanks to the EU. Um, Greece is a small country and, and does not have the ability to withstand this degree of abuse. Now here the parents, uh, here's uh, them looking. I mean, I'm sorry, these people have, have known about Ben Needham's grief for 25 years. I would say that these people are, um, th this looks, I don't know. I mean, how, how, you know, look at this. This, this is supposed to, this Ben Needham's grandfather, is this, a, is this a gentleman who didn't supervise Ben at the time? I mean, we are told, it's, you know, you can look at Wikipedia, not that it's very reliable, but according to Wikipedia, Ben Needham wandered off. He wandered off. There was a bu building going on, and he wandered off. There was a bulldozer nearby, but he wandered off. Surely, some of the responsibility, at least for this event, needs to be with the Needham family. If you allow your child to wander off when it's unsupervised, then you are partially responsible for what happened. Now, we have no evidence whatsoever that uh, Valen, uh, that uh, Mr. Barkas did this, and his son is extremely angry that his father is being dragged through the mud. The last country in the world that needs more bad publicity is Greece. Greece's economy has been trashed by the EU and NATO and, and, and Germany. Uh, Greece's uh, borders have been invaded by uh, immigrants anxious to reach Germany and the UK, where they are assured of a warm welcome by the government. Right? It says here he was digging next door. The friend claimed Ben had wandered into the dust. Right. So how would his friend know this? How would his friend know this? It says here, written with guilt, the witness said Dinos buried Ben in the rubble. You can't have any guilt. If this story is true, and there's no evidence it's true, no evidence it's true, then apparently this was an accident because an unsupervised child was accidentally killed because it was wandering in a building site. It's not the fault of a digger driver if, if some child, you don't expect a child to be there, right? If you were to stop throwing children into building sites in the UK, you'd find that quite a lot of them would get killed. The reason for that is when you're on a building site, you don't expect toddlers to be wandering around. Now, it's very unfair on this man that his father is being mal maligned in this way. Extremely unfair. It's very unfair on the island of Kos. Um, it seems here that Detective Cousins claims that it's his professional opinion 
that this that this happened in the way we're told. I don't see how we can say that based upon the fact that they claim to have found a toy. Incidentally, uh, such a similar toy could easily have been planted. Uh -huh. This apparently is a toy similar to the one belonging to Ben. It's similar? Well, why can't we see the original one? 25 years of being stuck in the ground in Greece, which experienced uh, winter frost and so on, would not would give a car in a very bad state. Uh -huh. And, uh, and uh, so I, I, I find this story very hard to believe. And um, it says here, this whole affair has really upset my mother and our friends and neighbours. I understand her despair, but she should blame someone else, not my father who is dead and cannot defend himself. My daughter is called Constantina. She is named after my father. She is six months old. But Gino's grandchildren will go up and read all these bad things against him. For 25 years they found nothing. The police, the volunteers in the army searched the area in 1991 and they didn't find anything. These allegations against my father come out of thin air. When my father left the prosecutor's office, he was as cool as a cucumber. He does not look like a guilty man in the picture that has been published of him. I met British police. I've answered every question. The Ben Needham case is worse than Greece's problems. Come on, you know Greece is suffering. Greece as a country is suffering. If a British family go to Greece, they need to take responsibility for their own family. If one of their family members, an, an, an infant, a, a toddler, and I shouldn't use that word, a child walks off, then they, the, the family showed some negligence. It's an easy mistake to make. It could happen to me. If I had a son, I might make the same mistake. I'm not suggesting that people don't do that. I myself was left alone on several occasions as a child, and I lived to tell the tale. Most of us, if we're honest, must remember a moment when we were young, when we were left alone for various reasons. On this occasion, Ben Needham wandered off, and for some, and for whatever reason, didn't return. That doesn't mean you can smear the whole of Greece. And again, this picture looks, these people look, I'm sorry, look at their faces. I mean, these people have been aware of the Ben Needham, these are family members who've been living with this issue for 25 years, and they're putting on a, this is the Daily Mirror picture, and they're really putting on a bit of a show here. Um, Last night, regulars at the Deluxe Coffee condemned Kerry Dean for ruining Dinos' reputation. It says here, the fact that we have not had a direct result does not preclude the facts that we know to be true. What are the facts that you know to be true? Some unknow, uh, unnamed witness claims that this happened. How does that make it true? How does, how does a toy, in, uh, how, how does that make it true? How does it make it true? Yes, you might have suspicions. That's why we have suspects. But this is not evidence. A policeman can't just make this all up. Right? Because of my family friend, Elias Nobel said, Cost has had a really bad business because of migrants and now because of Ben Needham. We really can't afford that. Everyone is talking about costs in a bad way. For God's sake, let Dinos rest in peace. The uh, residents in Portugal where, um, where um, Madeleine McCann went missing have similar opinions. In fact, I suggest that a representative from Cos go over to Pride de Luz or something in Portugal and have a word with them. This is not fair. It's not fair on the Portuguese who suffered years of bad publicity because of Madeleine McCann, and it's not very fair on Ben Needham, uh, on the residents of Kos, uh, whose population, suffering as they are, are now suffering 25 years of abuse based upon an, uh, an event that, at least to a certain extent, involved carelessness on behalf of Ben Needham's own family. I'm only making a point, legitimate point here. I'm not suggesting that, that the family are not entitled to know where their son is. If it can be done at a reasonable cost. It should be done. But bearing in mind the fact that the family believe that Ben Needham is dead, the idea that the whole of uh, uh, cost should be dug up at someone else's expense is wrong. As I said, go to the missing person's website. You will see that there are hundreds of children in the UK who are missing. Surely it might be a good idea to investigate some of these people instead of harassing Greece and the island of Kos and the family of Dinos Barkas for something that is frankly 
to, so far as I can see, unprovable, uh, regardless of what D.I. Cousins thinks, Detective Inspector John Cousins thinks. It was an emotional time for all of us. Yes, Mr. Cousins, I dare say you're 19, you and your team of 19 in Greece, and I don't know how long they spent in Greece, but you can imagine how much it costs, probably cost a thousand pounds a day per officer to send them to Greece to do this. Meanwhile, British people can't get burglaries uh, in, uh, investigated. Come on, be fair to Greece, for God's sake. Let's be reasonable. Let's use common sense in all this. Jesus. And what's worse is because this Ben Needham case involves a child, it's become like one of those things you're not allowed to talk about. It's like a sacred myth, you know. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Oh, yes, we can attack Be uh, Mr. Barkas because he's dead. We can attack him. Or we can attack, make, make his family's life a misery, including he's got grandchildren. Think about it. It's, you know, we can't, to attack one family to protect another is not right. So far as I can see, the police have provided absolutely no real evidence to support their accusations that Mr. Barkas did it. He, he may well have done it, for all I know. I have no idea. I wasn't there. But the, you can't simply accuse someone based upon this. This is not proper police work. Thank you for listening.